in this tutorial, I just want to show you how you can use the price function in Microsoft Excel to calculate the price of a bond that has periodic coupon payments per $100 face value of the bond. This function has six arguments that are required and one that is optional. So the six arguments that are required is a settlement, which is the date that the bond was purchased. In this hypothetical example, April 16th last year. Maturity is when the bond is going to mature or the date that you plan on selling it. So that's, in this example, May 11th, 2023. The rate, so that's the annual coupon payment of the bonds. This example, 5.5%. Annual bond yield, 4.5%, which can which can vary depending on what, what you're going to redeeming it for. Also, interest rate, also, also interest rate movements are what you bought it for. Um, redemption is how much are you going to be redeeming the bond for? Per $100 face value. So if you're going to be um, holding it to maturity, it's going to be 100 but you might be selling it for more than face value, less than face value. So that's where you can kind of take in take consideration this redemption argument. The frequency, how frequent are the coupon payments? So if they're annual, you can type in one. Same annual, you can type in two. Um, quarterly, four, so on and so forth. Basis, basis just allows you to have more flexibility over the dates that you use in the, the calculation. So you can have, for example, actual over actual, actual over 360, um, whatever just works best for you. So to use this function below, you can type equals price. So the settlement, like I said, the purchase date is 416, 2022. Maturity, May 11th, 2023. The rate is 5.5%, but the yield is 4.5%. And the redemption is for pay size, we 100. And the frequency, um, you can type in one for annual, two for semi annual, and three for, quarter, four for quarterly. Let's just type in four for quarterly. And then the basis, so you can have zero for for 30 over 360, one for actual over actual, two for actual over 360, um, and so on and so forth. But as you can see, it's not required because it's in brackets in this piece right here. Um, so I'm just going to leave that blank for now. But you can have flexibility in that if you want to. And given these inputs above, the price of the bond is $101.04. And you can kind of mess around with this too. For example, if you're like, oh, what if I hold on for what if I hold on hold on for until the end of the month instead of the middle of the month? Well, you can say five dash thirty dash twenty two three, um, and then that you can kind of see how that adjusts the bond price upward by five percent, um, and just you can kind of mess around with it too to see how different parameters will impact the price of the bonds. So, yeah, that's it. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day.